We are just days away from the solar eclipse. It's going to be a sight to see. And perhaps you want to take a little snapshot of it. What Everyone you will. You know, I know, they will for sure. If you're planning on taking a picture of the eclipse with your smartphone, well, there are some things you probably should know to make sure you get the best shot and the safest shot. Editor at large at Tech Radar, Lance Yulonov, joins us right now with some tips on how to get the best photograph of the eclipse. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again. for having me. We appreciate it. Yeah. All right, first of all, <laughs> Rosanna, go ahead because you, you want to get right to how you I do know. This. So this is what I'm worried okay. about, okay? <laughs> do I need to have one of these eyeglasses on to take the photograph? Because sometimes... You know, you just want to sneak a peek. And they well, say don't look. One, don't sneak a peek. Okay. Two, you know, you, look, if you're looking at your screen. Yes. You know, you can, you can look at your screen. But the thing is, honestly, you may be doing this. That's what I'm worried so, about. You know, in that situation, you turn up the, the brightness on your screen so you can see what you're doing. Keep those glasses on just to protect yourself. You know, that's, I'm definitely going to, we have a few pairs of those going on. But Everyone's going to want to get a great shot of the eclipse. So I'm going to just start with some simple tips here. Okay, all right, for just adjusting Walk things on it. your Walk, iPhone. Yeah, okay. So the first thing is, you know, in a dark situation, the light's going out, right? The moon's moving in front of the sun. You, oh, have my flash on. Turn your flash off. So if no you flash. go okay. to the upper left corner right. of your mm -hmm. screen. Wait, can I do this just, with you? Hold yeah. on. Okay, go to the upper right or left? Oh, left. Boy. Upper left. You'll see a little, I'm just a little lightning bolt. Uh, yeah, what do I do? Put the Tap little it, slash through it. Tap it okay. and the slash is okay. through it. Okay, so that's easy. Um, and then here's the thing. A lot of people are just going to take pictures of the orb in the sky. Right. It's not that interesting. Right. It's going to be, especially with the smartphone, it's going to be the little dot, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to put it in context. So on your phone, you can use portrait mode or, or especially my preference is ultra wide the ultra wide camera which is the the point five camera if you have an iphone right. 15 pro that is the ultra that See is right ultra there. wide go, go and what that will do is right, bring right in here? more people no. bring okay. in people and surrounding oh, objects that you See, can point see. Five. Oh, just <laughs> up there. Hit it hit it right here that's right yes you okay. zoom right. okay, okay. so in do five that. time or go back point five there okay, you go. Got it. So now you're seeing now you're got seeing it. what and what that does is that's going to bring more objects, people, trees, buildings into the scene. So don't use Zoom. Okay, so no, <laughs> don't. I'm just asking. No Zoom. Uh, that's do part the of point it. Five. You're jumping way ahead, but you're right. absolutely right. Okay. okay. Uh, because look, I'll just tell you that all of our phones have digital Zoom. That'll mm -hmm. take you really close. Except it's not real information. Tends to mess things up use the op best optical zoom you have all right on your iphone 15 pro or pro max that's five times okay some phones like the I samsung galaxy s24 ultra mm -hmm. 10x that's right. optical okay so yes. let's talk about exposure and focus control because the light is changing right. on you exactly so this is so when you tap your iphone screen you tap the screen you see a little yellow square right and when you do that you start sliding your finger up and down if you slide it down you lower you basically close off the exposure until it's darker, but for the, for this, the uh, eclipse, you're going up. You're overexposing oh. because you need more light. You, need you to go up, up oh. so you can see what's going on. Okay. All right? So I you do it. it until you see a good shot. Okay. All right? That same square, by the way, that appears, tap again, hold on the screen until you see the focus lock. All right? So you do that. Oh, it says it right on the top, lock. Okay. Right, and that ba okay. basically focuses on what you want to focus on, not the phone randomly picking different things. Because Got again, it. this is a difficult shot with this thing way up, you know, millions of miles away in the sky. All right, so we talked about o o not over zooming, just use the optical zoom if you can. Uh, another great thing is the moment, there's a moment with the eclipse called the sort of the diamond ring. And that's sort of a, that's a very short moment because the, the moon is sort of transiting across the sun, right, until it gets that perfect and it's just, it's smaller than the sun and it, that little blink of light appears. So you can use something called burst mode. Burst mode shoots multiple photos at once so you don't have to do it and mm. one of them is going to be the best shot. So basically you take it and you drag it, you drag it so to the... So you take it, the button that you would normally hit right. to take a picture. And all you do is you put your finger on that button and drag to the left and you will see I've the number... I've never done I didn't that, know that before! <laughs> and it'll take as many shots as you want. So as long as you hold it. 
That's people just right. taking That's right. Right. I, Have you ever done I, this I never before? even knew that existed. See, you learn something here. When you okay. use, by the way, when you use the timer on your phone, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it'll automatically shoot in a burst. And I would suggest if you want a steady shot, you have tripod. a little tripod with you with a little iPhone holder on it and set it up. Set the timer, which is basically you drag down from the top that little carrot. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you'll see all of your settings. And there's one that kind of looks like a timer toward the right. Mm -hmm. You click on that, choose between th three seconds or 10 seconds. I usually do 10 seconds. It'll blink, blink, blink. The, the flash will blink and then it goes. We have to wrap this up here. I want to know about selfies because a lot of people will want to try and get the sun I and the moon in the background as they do it. Any suggestions? You can, you can try. Try. It's yeah. absolutely you can and the great thing is you're not facing the eclipse mm -hmm. so you can really you don't have to wear the glasses You can look at the screen and try it set up just understand that it's gonna be pretty small now to do that And if you just want a great moment there I'd say zoom as much as you can because what you're just trying to do is have that orb next to your head Right, right? you're kind of like this mm. you're zooming back and you're doing that all right, Lance, all right we appreciate Monday. it. Uh, what, I think what do they say about three thirty four o'clock yeah, yeah, roughly. Roughly, roughly around then it's mm -hmm. going to be a big moment here not totality but Rochester totality right. Buffalo yes yeah, sometimes. Go I've, heard, I've heard it too yeah, Thanks, exactly. Lance, Lance healing off we appreciate it all right thank you very much Come